Hey guys, Massive Dynamic here. Just a quick train signal visualization tutorial here. Just want to show you that I've set up a little track here, a little circuit of trains, three trains, five stations. They all have the same schedule. So what I've done is wherever there's a rail signal, I've added a light to indicate the color of that signal. And wherever there's a chain signal, I've added three lights that will reflect the color of that chain signal. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a quick overview of where and why to use the different types of signals. So as you can see, first of all, let's start with the colors of the signals. A green light means that that track is clear. The train can approach that signal. A yellow light means that that section of track, that block, if I hold a signal in my hand, you'll see the blocks. So this purple block is, when it's green, it's clear. When it's yellow, it's reserved. That means there's a train on its way. And when it's red, no train can enter that block. Okay, so the regular signals will go red, yellow, green as the trains progress around the track. The chain signals will reflect the color of the lights of the signals that are downstream of their position. So this chain signal is looking ahead to these two rail signals. And you'll see that it reflects the color of these signals. So once again, if these are both green, the chain signal will be green. If these are both yellow, the chain signal will be yellow. Um, if there's any difference in the two signals, then the chain signal will be blue. So a blue chain signal indicates that there is at least one clear path for the train to travel. So that's why you use chain signals before an intersection and rail signals after the intersection. That way this rail signal is checking as you can see, if I highlight it, this rail signal is checking this intersection, as is this one. It's checking this block here at the intersection. And this chain signal is then reading the signal from those two rail signals. Same here. This is a different kind of intersection. This is a merger, but it's the same thing. We have a chain signal before the merge and a second chain signal before the merge and a rail signal after the merge. And you'll see that the lights will reflect the same way. Now these chain signals will not be blue because it will either be red, yellow, or green because it's only reading this one regular signal, which is only ever going to be red, yellow, or green. Okay, back to this signal. This is a an intersection once again so this because this is reading this intersection this one will be red yellow green or blue depending on the signals here again if both signals are green you'll get a green both yellow you'll get a yellow green and yellow you'll get a yellow and green and red you'll get a blue so there you have it guys a simple easy quick tutorial on how to use chain signals and regular signals. Thanks for watching.